HR1 conventional 5W50 oil for hot rod motor. yesterday's video there we got the old r10 here back together she's still a little bit on the wonky side this way it's driving me nuts i took about half a coil out of the passenger side and it's still a little bit off so i don't know if we got a twisted frame here or a bad leaf at the back i probably think it's a bad leaf i'm gonna hit my buddy at j and j there maybe put her on the frame machine and see if the frame's straight we'll go from there but we'll get her fixed up pretty right we will i'm pretty sure it's a leaf i got a bad leaf or something in the back Drives me crazy. I can't stand something that does this at level. But what I want to show you today is I got the grill mesh installed into the grill. Oh, you gotta check this out. It turned out alright. So as you know, my grill has been customized by Mike, of course. And he took out the crossovers that are normally on here to make it more open looking. But the only problem with it being open looking is you see all this crap in here. Which is horrible. Who wants to look at horns and rads and stuff like that not me so what i did is i went on the good old amazon there and i got myself some of that steel mesh it's made out of metal it's good stuff actually and i bent it all up and i urethaned it on because there's nowhere to screw it of course but that's on and now from the angle of the dangle it looks pretty good here let me get it in there and i'll show you what i'm talking about maybe if i can find a spot to put you nothing in here is works for me sometimes boo hoo hey boo hoo what we do here is we'll slide her in. Remember, when you put these girls in, always go up first, eh? Up and then in. Captain, there we go. There we go. So that's all there is for that. Actually, you could probably bolt this thing back in, but I'm going to just not get ahead of myself right now. There we go. So now, see, when the girl's in, and you look at it, you see mesh. And actually, it looks really friggin' decent. Holy, that looks awesome. See, now you don't see all the stuff in behind the grill. All you see is just grill. So there you go. That's what I did with the grill. Hopefully you like that. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you like that or not. By the way, happy 2022. Holy cow, 2022. I remember when I was friggin' 20, I was like, I can't believe one day I'm gonna see 2025. It's coming pretty quick. It's only three years around the corner. It won't be friggin' old as dicks. As you know, the truck sits better now. It's at least level now. It's beautiful out today. We're supposed to get a big snowstorm tonight. So that'll be interesting. Maybe. Maybe we'll get the T-Rex foreskins out in the snow. That'd be cool. Or the UDR. Or, or one of them RCs I got that I haven't used in a long time. What do you think? Still haven't sandblasted the headlight pods or I put that all back in for you. At least we got the grill done. And it looks a lot better than it did before. Captain, what do you think? Can you see it? There it is. Pretty decent. Very nice, pretty decent. Anybody need an old JVC? Well, I don't know. I got a guy coming today at uh, 1.30 to look at those rally rims. So hopefully we can uh, make our money back from all the ball joints and everything else and put back in this thing. Because that, uh, that was money I didn't want to spend. I'll tell you that right now. But hey, it's good now. I just got to figure out why this truck's is crooked. You have no idea how much that drives me crazy. Like at the back right now, I'm. I'm like an inch and a half higher on this side. And it's driving me absolutely bonkers. I'm about ready to order up some new leaves for it. It just doesn't make sense. I will figure it out. See, it needs to sit like that right there. We'll figure it out together. I'll let you know what's really going on. Hey, there's that flashlight. I was looking for that today. I hit it yesterday. How you doing? Brought to you by Snap-on. Frig. Another thing I gotta do when I get a chance when I get some extra money is buy another socket set for this toolbox over here because I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul and then Paul will pay Peter and it's just cocking things right over the situation is. My truck's dirty again. Like I said, there's supposed to be a big snowstorm coming tonight so we can't really get her out now. Just having a coffee. It's New Year's Day today. So this video will be out tomorrow. So happy New Year's Day for yesterday. Cause that's what I do. I got no batteries being charged right now. I got all the Dewalties out on machines I do. 
get these things on the charger cap. That way when I'm ready to use her, I can use her. There we go. Where's the other ones? There it is. All right. Taking a few bucks of friggin' batteries here. Because you know the batteries that come within these little bastards, they're junk. Right, right there. That was a good investment right there. Oh, I gotta get something outside of my truck and show you too. We here, I'll be right back. In about 20 minutes probably. So what I picked up for the old truck here is like I said, I'm gonna run this engine for a year. I don't want to get in and change the engine right now in case, you know, unless something happens to this guy and then we'll change it. But I got some of this driven HR1 conventional 5W50 oil for hot rod motors. Now when it says hot rod motors, it means like flat tappet motors, eh? It's got lots of zinc in it. High zinc to protect the old engines. So I'm gonna try running that in there. I know my buddy there over at uh, Vice Grip Garage, he uses the old diesel oil. I might try that one day, but for now, I'm gonna run this stuff. It's supposed to be pretty good. We'll have to see what happens. Got a little bit of a tune up here in a box, I do. Gotta have a tune up in a box once in a while. Got myself some k &N. I only use k &N oil filters. Other people use other things, but I like the k &N. It's even got a little ratchet head on the end so you can get them on and off real easy, see? It's pretty decent. So that's what I put in. Performance Gold. So I ordered two of them by accident, so I have one for next time. And then I got myself some spark plugs. We're just going with the NGKs we are. Hey, the V power. Arr. So we'll have to slot them in. And then maybe put in some inject or uh, carburetor cleaner and whatnot to so get that all flushed out. And we might be able to uh, limp this thing for another summer. That's what I'm thinking, or beat the limit for a summer. I like that idea better. There you go. Thanks for the pot of gold there box. There, gold glass accessories. Appreciate that for carrying stuff home in. My heater's working real good still. It only comes on for a few minutes, it goes off for a few minutes, so that's a good sign. It does help that I have a vent coming from the house out here, so it helps keep it a little bit warmer. Oh, gold glass accessory cards. How are you doing? Who's are these? Sorry about that. By the time I'm done doing this truck, I'm gonna have a box full of garbage. I should put it on that side, and that way it'll weight down that leaf spring and it might make it straighten out. It's not a bad idea. I'm just tired of the ground, just pull her down. But leave your comments down below if you want to see me do an oil change on this old bitch. I had to wait for the weather to be a little bit warmer though, so I can get outside and power wash the engine off first, because I'm like working on that thing with it all greasy like that. But we'll jack her up and do an oil change on her. Put some plugs in her while the inner fender wells are still out. Because you can really get to them that way, and then kind of go from there. Friggin' right we will. But well, there you go, this video I just wanted to show you the grill. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the grill. Let me know in the comments below if it's cocked over or if it's mint. I think it's mint. If you want to know uh, where I got this stuff, it's from Amazon. It's called Grill, Grill, Grill. No, it's called Grill Insert Grill. If you want to know where it is, I'll put the link down there. You can get it in different sizes. And it bends really easy and nice and you can form it and stuff. It's pretty decent. So, hopefully you're having a good day like me, not doing anything I ain't doing. Love y'all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.